Fotografie sur Twitch. Hey, what's up everybody in YouTube? Yeah, that's me, I'm back again. Uh, today, you know, thinking about building something different. You know, I've been seeing the pictures of New York City Comic Con, which I haven't seen, and I'm so, I, I'm so distraught because I really wanted to go to New York City Comic Con this year. I set, tried to save up, but I didn't get save up en enough, so I couldn't make the trip. Uh, would have loved to, I haven't been to New York City Comic Con in so many years. Uh, but enough about that, you know, I saw pictures of so many Power Rangers, so many um, unique, one-of-a-kind Power Rangers, so many from, from comic books, but there was one that I, I, I saw, and I really, need, I really need to take my hand at making it. If you guys remember, a long time ago, if you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, that I did make a Omega Red Ranger. I 3D printed one. I got a file from a friend of mine, and I printed it. I just never finished it. You know, it's been sitting on my shelf now for weeks, maybe a month, maybe more. I don't really remember, but uh, yeah, I've had so many people sending me comments about that helmet and people sending me messages, DMs, and everything about when I'm going to make it. I should make it. Uh, when, when are you going to make this? Because I really want to... I, really, uh, I really want to make one of my own. So what we're going to do today is we're actually going to go into the local hobby shop because I'm going to find some red paint that I need because we're going to work on some airbrush because as you guys know already from previous videos, Looking for flat red paint is not the easiest part, and this paint doesn't can't be dark. It can't be dark at all. So what we're gonna do is go into the local hobby shop, see what we can find into that one, because there's only one hobby shop in my local area. There's only one, one hobby shop, and that ain't fair, guys. That ain't fair. You know, so it takes about 30 to 40 minutes to get there. So uh, what we're gonna do is see about we can find maybe two to three bottles. That way we can cover the whole helmet because I don't have an airbrush gun. Actually, I don't have a paint gun. I should say that I have an airbrush gun. I just don't have a paint gun and a powerful enough a compressor to you know paint everything. Uh, maybe one day. Maybe one day. Let's jump into the car, see what we can find at the local hobby shop in Isabella, and um, just find our way there. So let's go. Oh, oh my god, they're good. They're making a Baskin Robbins. Oh, I wanna go, I wanna go. All right guys, I made um, a little bit of a quick stop here at Walmart uh, to pick up something because I so, just recently just sold my laptop just a few minutes ago, I sold it. So I decided to go to Walmart, pick up a gimbal for the cell phone because it, it's kind of hard to hold the cell phone by that button on the back and you stick on there and it's kind of hard and kind of inconvenient at the same time uh so i bought it i have it right here right here sold the laptop so i was able to buy this right now so we're just gonna put this on and see how this works i've never used the gimbal before it's got an app and everything all right guys so finally using the new gimbal that i got at walmart so i think it's a lot easier to do this with the gimbal instead of having the phone like grasping it in my hand trying not to drop it or anything uh so yeah you know it kind of got a little cloudy over here it's kind of getting a little dusty over here in puerto rico because of the dust of the sahara and everything and also some rain is coming in uh so right now we're going to be heading to the hobby shop in isabella hopefully it's not too bad of a traffic over there um i'm hoping it's not and then maybe when i get home get a little shaved because i'm starting to look a little scruffy and i want to cut my hair a little bit because i'm getting a little shaggy I look like a wolf man now. <laughs> Don't mind my eye, because I know my eye is still a little bit on the messy side. It's still a little bit, still a little bit bad. So I, I'm hoping to get it fixed. All right. In a, in a few more days, my eye should be up. Candy red enamel. Is there something? Candy, candy cobalt blue, and candy gold and yellow. You wouldn't even know if this was gold because it's so dark. <laughs> no, it's like, you know what this bottle makes me think about? Uh, yolo. <laughs> no, re reminds me of that old cough medicine your 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 parents and your grandparents used to force feed you when you when you got sick. 
I'm like, because it, it looked nasty and it tasted gross. All right, so they got some, they got some new stuff. You know, they got some cobalt. I heard, I this, this, I heard this was like a pretty good brand. You know, focus. I heard this was like a pretty good brand. Can't really focus it on here, but. Okay, uh, okay. Alright, got my pants, guys. So, time to run over here without my pants falling off because I'm not wearing a belt. Worst time to come over to buy some paints, guys. Um, but this is nice. It's a red, it's candy red enamel. I think this will be good because it looks pretty dark. I think this would be perfect for the, um, the Omega Red Ranger helm. I think this would be perfect. Uh, one way to find out now we're going to see if you can actually paint a whole Power Ranger helmet just by using airbrush. All right, guys, it's actually the next day. And what we're going to do now is we're going to stand the front and the back part of the helmet right here. Uh, we're going to hand sand some of these areas because you can't get it here with the... Because the palm sander can't really get into these areas without doing a little bit of damage. And right here, these sharp little edges and corners, you really can't get inside. So what we're going to do is start off with some 150 grit sandpaper all the way to 400. What we're going to do is sand this off first. We're going to do a few little passings here and there. Uh, make sure some of the spot putty actually goes around the underlaying of the bevel and then try to hand sand it a little bit right here and or, or well as the lines here, here and here and especially right here. I don't know if I'll be able to get inside here with just uh, with some sandpaper so I'll probably end up using a finger file and see what I can do and then just try to smooth it out as much as possible to see what we can obtain and um, yeah we're going to see what we're going to do. All right, guys, if you want to see the process of the filler primer, the spot putty, and basically all the pre-prep work of the step-by-step -step of what I do for, to prep this helmet, just go right here and click one of these cards up here. It is the playlist of all the previous videos of the step-by-step -step process of making the helmet. I even have a three-video series of the Red Gokai Ranger helmet that you could probably use for this same helmet and for all of your other helmet needs. Remember, when you're watching these videos, remember to hit like and subscribe and hit post notifications that way you're notified whenever I drop a video and always when I go live because I answer every single one of your questions whenever you guys are curious or you want to know the answers to specific cosplay or prop prepping needs or some other stuff like that come to my live stream I always go live once a week that way you guys have any questions I will answer them for if you want to have if you have questions for shields for armors for helmets 3d printing phone bills you can ask me any of your questions, I will answer them right away. And also, you can leave comments down below at the end of the video, that way I will answer every single one of your questions. The minute you post the comment, I will answer it ASAP, as fast as possible, and give it a like and a heart, guys, because I care about the fam here on this channel, and I hope to hear from you guys soon. But without further ado, let's get back into the video. Alright guys, for today's paint, we're going to be using some... LK2 lacquer candy red enamel. So this is gonna be the first time we've ever actually ever used this enamel. And we we have our airbrush all ready, cleaned and set. So now we're gonna be putting the paint in. Set this at 40 uh, DPI or PSI, I should say. 40 PSI, and we're gonna go ahead and paint our helmet. And hopefully it comes out very nice and clean. We have the white primer, it's already nicely dry and set. So we're all we're good to go. All right, I'm I'm a I gotta say I'm a little disappointed in this color. The guy that sold it to me at the hobby shop uh, said it was red, but it comes out more pink than anything. So it's like I don't know, guys. This thing it just look at, look at this. It you can't tell me this does not look pink. It's not red. It's not red. So I'm gonna have to see about using a car paint maybe something that's like matte or something something that I've used before so I'm gonna see what we go so if you guys want to do some air brushing with that with this paint uh, maybe for a pink ranger helmet or something I probably would go with this paint but for like a red ranger um, no I don't think so 
All right, guys. So I'm back. I finally got some paint. I got some me Duplicolor Metal Cast. I uh, got it at the Auto Body Shop. So we're gonna be using this paint, and hopefully, hopefully, it works a lot better, and it looks more red than Hot Rod Pink or whatever you want to call that color that I used. That it was red, and it wasn't red. So even I make mistakes. Even some things don't go according to plan for me. So now you guys know that doing that for this, no, maybe for something else, but not for this. All right, so we got all the red on it, but there was a little bit of a change in the process of the painting. I used the iodized red uh, matte paint. It came out a little bit too dark, so I decided to go with a colonial red, and that also was a little bit dark. So I decided to do something a little bit more creative. I kept the coating of the red on there, or the colonial red, and then I used some poppy red that was also from Rosodium, and did a light coating on it on the top. So. It actually came out very nice. It's not too dark, not too light, not too red. And so now what we have everything taped off. We have everything taped off on the back piece also. So what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna add the white base primer to the red right here. Cause I wanted to actually do the gray, but I don't wanna do it on top of the red. So what we're gonna do right now is just put a little bit of that white primer on top of this. So that way when we do the gray, it'll come out nice. It won't take as many coats as, you know, as I don't want to do. I don't want to. All right, so far, the paint's nice and dry. I ended up making a little bit of a mistake here earlier because I thought this was going to be the gray line and these were going to be the gold. But it, when I looked at the picture again, these are supposed to be the gray and this is going to be the gold. So I went and retaped it back up, took out the tape here, put some white primer on this and fix it up on both sides so we're going to be pretty much good so we're going to be using right now some of this rust-oleum two times paint this is actually dark gray i thought this would be the best thing for this type of gray because anything other than dark gray would probably look more like a primer and it wouldn't really fit to the style of the actual drawing and the painting helmet we actually see done by star childs so let's just get this thing and see how it comes out Alright guys, so we finally finished this. I know it's been a long time coming. I started this thing back weeks and weeks ago, nearly over a month ago, and I finally got to finish it. There were so many obstacles in the way of actually doing this one video, um, you know, finances and everything, but that doesn't matter. Uh, this file actually came from a, a good friend of mine that actually contacted me on Instagram. Uh, his name is Michael, and he contacted me, he sent me the file, uh, I didn't really finish it all completely because I didn't put in, a, as you can see, I didn't put in a vision for it. I don't have any keys in it. And if you guys are wondering, did I skip that? Did I, did I get lazy? Did I not do it? No, I did not get lazy. Uh, it's the fact of the matter is uh, when I was uh, working on this and I printed it all out, I noticed one little hitch, which I actually told um, the maker of the file about that the neck piece is actually kind of small. And when I printed it, the front and the back out completely, I tried to put it on and then I noticed it was pinching me around the neck, like there was no way around it, even if I sanded a little bit around here, it was still going to be like a snug fit and probably would scrape against my neck and uh, that's not going to be pretty sight because I've, I've had bruises from Prosty 4 that were a little bit too snug and um, 
Yeah. Uh, but this file, along with the rest of the Omega Ranger helmets that he actually modeled, is available on his Etsy. I'll actually put the link of it in the description for you guys if you guys are interested in you know buying one of these for yourselves. Uh, so he actually fixed that problem with all the helmets. He made it wider because I told him, you know, some people do have wider necks compared to other people. You know, like everybody has a different size head. Uh, you know, some hel a standard si size helmet won't fit everybody, you know, sometimes it'll be a little snug, but you know, it'll be nice. But this helmet right here was actually a challenge uh, in just paint alone. Uh, as you guys saw in the video, I tried several different reds. Uh, the cobalt red, the candy red, uh, and it just came out looking like pink. It was so faded. I think if I wanted to get it as dark as I wanted, I probably would have had to buy like maybe four or five bottles. I don't know. Uh, it's just because you know, with airbrushing it comes out in pretty thin coats. It doesn't come out really thick. And and I tried it, and then I tried the metal cast. It came out too dark, it came out more like a burgundy. Uh, so then I tried Colonial Red. It was still, Colonial Red was still a little bit on the dark side. Don't know the power of the dark side. A little bit on the dark side, no pun intended. Uh, but yeah, this, I decided to do something different. Something I never tried before and I didn't know if it was gonna come out. So what I did was I found some poppy red that I've used for other Ranger helmets before. And all I did was lightly from far from a distance, I literally coated it like two coats of the poppy red, and it actually gave me the red that I needed with the colonial red, and then the poppy red came out nice. Uh, but there was a little hitch, as you guys can see right here. There's a little section right here where I was I had taped it to do the gold and the the gray. That a uh, piece of the paint went off with the tape. You know, I don't know why that happens. You know, I did use, uh, I, I always tend to use, sometimes use a adhesion promoter for, for the helmets, but sometimes it doesn't really grab all the way, so. Uh, unfortunately, you know, sometimes this happens. There's never like, a one-time go and things come out perfect. There's always that one little hitch that happens when you're doing these builds of any, it could be a helmet, it could be armor or anything. But yeah, the, the whole thing came out nice. I almost made a mistake, as you guys saw in the video also, that. I almost, you know, painted this, I was going to paint these gold and this gray, and I was like, and when I looked at the photo, I was like double checking, I was like, something in the back of my head was saying, double check, double check, so I did it, and it took me about a few days to actually do the, the painting because of rain and everything, but I actually finally got it done, I would love to wear this helmet, but unfortunately my neck won't fit inside this area, but it came out very really nice, it's a fairly easy model to work with especially sanding was actually easier than I thought it was you know just using your fingers and then using a sanding stick going around into the sharp sections actually works out a lot and there if you guys are wondering about sanding sticks uh, there's a way that you can actually if you got a 3d printer you can print some of them out and then you put the sandpaper around it uh, clip it with a little ring or some screws and then you can just go around onto those little sections and smooth that. Especially around here and here you need those those flat uh, sandy sticks that way you don't get a bevel because using your finger is not really gonna do the sanding, it's not gonna do the trick. So. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, this is probably just gonna end up sitting on my shelf for a little bit of, of time. I don't know why. Uh, I, I, wish, I really am bummed I can't wear this and I wasn't gonna print a second one out just for it to fit on my head uh but yeah i my my first omega red ranger helmet guys i uh, what, what do you guys think like tell me leave a comment down below leave, leave a comment tell me what you think right leave a comment right here let me know what you think i'm waiting right now yeah right there okay right underneath the title right, right there you need a comment right there. so but honestly we just Trying to like, guess with the painting and everything. Of, uh, if you guys are wondering about the paints, like I said, we have, I have cards right here, and I'll link you to the playlist of everything of the helmets that I've made. So there are step-by-step -step tutorials of the helmets uh, from Gokai. There's a three-video series of the making of the Red Gokai Ranger helmet, so you can actually use that same technique here, as well as reinforcing the inside of your 3D print. Like if you have a 3D print that's a little bit thinner than what you're expecting uh you can actually reinforce it with some smooth cast 
So, you know, that's a good thing. This dirt right here is actually pretty thick and sturdy. You know, I wouldn't throw it on the ground because regardless of what helmet you have, it's still gonna break if you knock it on the ground. It's not gonna bounce like a like a ball, like a basketball. So he shoots, he scores! There we go. Uh, but yeah. Uh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was a long time waiting. I am sorry for that, that it took so long, you know, but I've been doing live streams once a week. I still uh, make sure that I do those live streams, but I think I'm going to go live tomorrow, guys. I didn't go live today because today is actually Thanksgiving, and I know everybody's out with their families or knocked out right now in a turkey coma, you know, because I was in a turkey coma not too long ago. Uh, two plates, guys, two plates. I'm going to be doing some cardio tomorrow. Uh, so, you know, if you guys, tell me what you guys think, do you, do you like this helmet, do you guys want to buy this file, because remember, if you guys do, the link will be in the description below as well, guys, remember to hit like and subscribe, and if you're new to the channel, remember, hit subscribe, because I'm going to be dropping more videos, actually, I have another video coming up soon for the silver Go Kai Ranger helmet with a gold visor, guys, gold visor, you haven't seen a gold visor, yet. you've seen red, and you've seen black, but you haven't seen the gold visor, so wait for that video. That video is actually coming up. I'm actually printing that helmet as we speak right behind me right now. So remember, guys, hit like, subscribe. Remember to hit post notifications. That way you know when I go live as well as when I drop off another video because I'll be dropping off more videos soon, I hope, and try to bring you some more content, you know, once a week at least or, you know, at least try, but I will be like I said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry for keeping you guys waiting for so long for just this one video. Uh, but have a good night and have a great weekend. And I hope you had a great and wonderful Thanksgiving with your family. Bye.